Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technic.com. Today, we're going to continue our lectures on SLinux. In our previous um, lessons, we've looked at what SLinux is and then um, out, out why you should enable SLinux. We've looked at a lot of um, things about SLinux, the enforcing mode, the disabled mode, how you can troubleshoot SLinux, SLinux policy and context, you know, uh, we've done quite a lot of um, activities. But in today's um, lesson, we're going to look at how to use the SC Linux, SC Managed Utility to troubleshoot SC Linux. Okay, so in this example, we're still going to use Apache Server. All right, so I'm going to be dropping the link to how you can configure Apache and it's um, simple, um, basic configuration. I'm going to drop the link in the description section below as well as the link to this website. So if you don't know how to um, configure Apache, you can just go through it. All right, so you know one of the ways to add in Apache server is to change the document root. So um, for example, let's change the document root for Apache. So let's make a directory for that document root. New document root. All right, so let's um, create a website file in the new document root. And call this website two. Yeah, I think the first one we did was website one. Okay, so I can just put in anything I want to put in here. I can say this is test website for the new document root. Okay. I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to edit the Apache configuration file now. To do that, it's um, best you back it up first. Okay, so let's back it up. Let me just copy this. Okay. You can make this original. Okay. So let's uh, now edit the Apache configuration file. All right. Um, no, this is what I want to do. Okay. So I'm going to look for the line document root. Let me just search by doing this. Document root. Okay. So I'm going to change this to the new document root. Right. And I'm also going to look for the line. Um, which other line? Okay, this directory line. We need to change this as well. Okay. Oh, I think that's all. No. Okay. There's still one more line that we need to change, which is this. I got you this one. Web server slash new document root. All right. I'm going to save the file. So we need to restart Apache now. All right, so let's um, check the status of the server. Okay, so it's running. 
Let's try and access the website. Okay, you can see that you don't have permission to access website two. Again, let's put on our, put on our troubleshooting um, thoughts, just as we did in, in the previous lesson. I said, anytime you want to troubleshoot SLinux, you should always look at the type context first, followed by the Boolean, right? To save time um, for this problem, we already know that it's not um, a Boolean issue. We already know that it's, um, it's the Apache default document route that we changed, all right? And um, I talked about where SLinux usually logs its file, and I, I mentioned the um, the directory. So let's check that directory. The location is var log audit, audit.log. And I'm going to grab for AVC. I said that it um, logs its... Um, Termination causes AVC deniers. I already mentioned that in the previous lesson. Okay, so let me just broaden my screen so we can see this very well. Let me run the command again. All right, if you look at the last um, the last line of this of this file, you can see AVC denied get attribute for process id this is the command the apache process right trying to for, for website two the source context is for the type it is um http d underscore t and the target context is default underscore t so this is the path let's see how we can use the um, SC manage utility. So let me do SC manage iPhone iPhone app. Um, you can see a lot of SC manage argument here. Um, you can see the positional argument. If you look at this F context, it says manage file context mapping definitions. So how can I use this um, command? Let me do man sc manage and see. Let me just broaden my screen again. Okay, we are looking for f context. This is f context, and this is its description. If you check this line, you can see sc manage um, f context. So let's look for this uh, man file as well. Man sc manage f context. All right, so what does um, this command do? Let's scroll down and see where we can see examples. All right, we can see this example. Remember to run restore con after you set the file context, okay? Add file context for everything on the web. So I can just copy and paste the command here, okay? Well, I'll need to change um, some stuff for example this slash web should be my new document roots when you read the um the manual page you should change this to your new document root so this is web server the new document root that we created all right so let's run this command and um, in that manual page, um, the manual page says we shouldn't forget to run the rest of con utility as well, right? That's what the manual page says. So let's run the rest of con utility. I'm sorry, I think how I think V slash web server, a new document root. So you can see that um, it's been really built. All right. So let's try and access the web server now. Let's see if you can do that. Okay. So we can access the website now. You should note that the 
SC manage F contest um, utility right to the policy and not directly to the file system. So when we use that command, we wrote to the policy. The reason why we, we used the restocon command, which is the second command, was to write from the policy to the file system. You know, I've once said that um, the restock command, I think that was a previous lesson, that what it does is to uh, make sure that um, all the labeling labelings are correct. It checks the policy and um, it makes sure that all the labelings are correct. So let's do a cleanup of our environment. I'm just going to uh, store my backup and just do this. Conf. Original. Oops. HTTPD conf. Sorry. Then um HTTPD dot conf. Yes. Let me restart the Apache server. All right, so let's check if it's running. So this is how you can use the SC Manage utility to troubleshoot S Linux. In the next um, class, we're going to look at how to use the SC alert to troubleshoot S Linux. All right. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.